So, in today's video, I have another unboxing video and super hack for when you're cutting and you want to add something. Um, right now, I'm not really adding much, just whatever's on my meal plan, but unboxing and revealing PB2 powder with cocoa. Now, I also have this one. And I'm just doing this to kind of compare and contrast. Is this one worth it if you like chocolate? You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, I saw a few comments online saying, oh, what's the difference between, I mean, how much of a difference can you tell in the peanut butter regular versus chocolate? And I will say, uh, just a quick finger test. Hopefully this won't ruin any of my calorie intake or anything. But let's just rip this seal off. Ooh. So this is almost a protein powder um, in some sense. The macros on these are insane. Uh, 50 calories, 13 grams uh, for a serving, and then six carbs, four protein, and one gram of fat. So this is really good if you're trying to stay on top of your meal plan and you don't want to have chocolate chips, you don't want to add peanut butter, obviously, if you can't, you know. And macros are insane on these, so. Let's just do a quick finger test. You just get a little bit right there. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, you can definitely, I can taste the chocolate. It's definitely, I'd say it's 70% peanut butter, 30% chocolate. You know, how much are you gonna be able to do versus just the regular peanut butter? Pretty obvious, just peanut butter right there. But, so there's a taste test. But, what you're paying for in this is convenience. Yes, you can go out and get the, this one for, you can get, they smell, this is a big container, but you can get the small, smaller container for like 10 bucks, but then you can also get, you know, some chocolate, 100% cocoa powder from the store for, good stuff is going to cost you 8 to 10 bucks, so this is a fair price. Uh, I only paid 18 for it, and what you'd be paying at the store is about 18 but I feel like because they added the one gram of sugar in here per serving, it makes a difference on the taste quality because I actually did, what I was doing was just using the regular peanut butter and then adding a little bit of cocoa before, but that, um, I didn't have the same, like, it didn't taste as sweet, it was very raw, but this is actually less calories for the same serving as the peanut butter one is for the same serving. So actually, if you're a big chocolate fan, I'd actually recommend just going with this. Pay the 18 bucks. There's so many servings in this. This will last you. And one serving of this is pretty big. So, uh, yeah. Like, I don't, whenever I do use this, I don't even put it in a full serving. I only use, like, half a serving because it mixes really well with anything. You know, cream of rice, oats, protein shakes. Add a little bit of extra flavor there without ruining your macros or calories or whatever. And... The ingredients on this are pretty simple, just peanuts, sugar, cocoa, and salt. So, and you can't go wrong there, you know, there's no artificial sweeteners or anything like that or whatnot. So, it's good stuff if you're worried about, I'd say, 8 out of 10 on health. Obviously, I wouldn't eat this every day, but, <clears throat> yeah, so that's just my quick review of PB2 uh, cocoa powder. So, and I will see you all in the next unboxing or workout video, which hopefully I will get out there soon. So, 